Our 407C is a recommended gas to replace our 22 in equipment, especially in air conditioning and water chillers. Below, we will develop the fundamental characteristics of our 407C that you should know. 1. Our 407C is a blend of other refrigerants, our 32, our 125, and our 134A. 2. Our 407C has an ozone depletion potential of zero, and a global warming potential of 1774. This latter value should be considered regarding environmental restrictions when using our 407C, in large quantities or in multiple equipment. 3. The substances comprising our 407C, are used to achieve necessary characteristics. For example, our 32 contributes to cooling capacity, our 125 provides lower flammability, and our 134A reduces pressure. 4. Our 407C is found in many chillers built in Europe, since the European Union eliminated our 22 years ago. 5. The discharge temperature is lower for our 407C than for our 22, approximately 6 degrees Celsius. 6. A lower discharge temperature causes less stress on the compressor. 7. The discharge pressure of our 407C is approximately 15% higher than that of our 22. 8. Pressures, temperatures, and heat transfer characteristics of our 407C are similar to our 22, so it has been applied as a drop-in alternative in machines originally designed for our 22. 9. The average evaporator temperature is higher for our 407C compared to our 22. 10. In water chillers with water-cooled condensers, the cooling capacity is very close for our 407C, compared to our 22 when the evaporator and condenser work in counterflow conditions. 11. The energy efficiency index is very similar with our 407C, compared to our 22. 12. Since our 407C is a blend, recharging should start from the liquid phase to reduce composition changes upon introduction into the system. 13. Our 407C is safe and chemically stable. 14. If charging our 407C is done from the vapor phase, there is a risk of having a composition very different from the expected, which could lead to equipment failures or other adverse effects. 15. Our 407C is classified as non-flammable and non-toxic. 16. Our 407C works with PoE type oil, Therefore, in most cases, the original compressor oil, which worked with our 22, needs to be changed. 17. No additional changes are required in equipment parts, when replacing our 22 with our 407C. However, if the equipment has a thermostatic expansion valve, it is recommended to check the temperature of our 407C at the evaporator outlet and, if necessary, adjust the valve to further improve performance. 18. Our 407C has a considerable glide in the evaporator, which is why its temperature increases significantly. Therefore, in the pressure and temperature table, we find two pressures, one for liquid, and one for vapor. The glide causes the temperature at the evaporator outlet to have two increases, one due to superheating and one due to glide. Usually, technicians work with vapor pressure as the working pressure. 19. For medium or low temperature applications, such as refrigeration and freezing, our 407C has less application. 20. On screen, the pressure table for our 407C is displayed.